Last year, the number of drug overdose deaths dropped for the first time in nearly 30 years, according to the federal government. Now, KCA United's Washington, D.C. correspondent Trevor Shirley reports on the huge amount of tax dollars being pumped into communities to help stop the epidemic. He's got more today. Nearly $400 million will soon flow into communities battered by opioids. Each of these grants is going to be used to hire professionals like counselors and social workers, nurses, and licensed mental health providers. Vice President Mike Pence announced the plan last week in eastern Kentucky. The $400 million is part of a billion-dollar investment by the Trump administration to fight opioid addiction. I want to, by January 2021, have saved the equivalent of 10,000 lives that would have been lost uh, at the peak point of our epidemic. Admiral Brett Giroir of the Department of Health and Human Services says the grant money will pay to make drug abuse treatment a part of traditional health care facilities. It will also provide more support in rural areas and it will pay to expand the behavioral health workforce. We are starting to really turn uh, the epidemic around, but we have a long, long way to go. And recent data released by the CDC shows the U.S. may actually be starting to get the upper hand on the epidemic. Last year, overdose deaths decreased by nearly 5% nationwide. Those metrics encourage health officials. But the bottom line is, and, and I ask this to myself, how do you know you're being successful? And to me, the bottom line is, are we saving lives? Jawa also says with this much tax money being handed out, oversight is key. You have to follow the best science, and we police that. It's an approach officials hope will continue to pay off and save lives. In Washington, I'm Trevor Shirley.